This is the third video log of this semester. Uh, today I'm supposed to cover my salient social identities, um, what activities have helped illuminate my identities, which ones I chose to explore in depth, and which ones I would have liked to explore deeper. So last week we did this horrible activity that is very important, I understand, but one that I do not like at all, where um, <clears throat> you share identities with a partner and the person that is not speaking is not supposed to show any sort of emotion or affirmation or response. They're not allowed to ask any questions or say anything. And um, the person speaking has like three to four minutes to go over their identities. And then you switch and do the same thing. And after doing it, I realized how important it was. And after we talked about it, I realized how important it was. And I regretted that I wasn't, that I didn't try harder because I just, it, it makes me probably more uncomfortable not to affirm someone else than to not be affirmed. So Brie went first. I partnered with Brie. And she went first and was talking about her identities. And I couldn't help but just laugh and nod. I stopped nodding because that was pretty obvious. But like I couldn't help but just laugh at some of the things that she said that were really funny and smile and like look very attentive um, because it just hurts me not to. It hurts me to have someone speaking and not be given the time of day. So I didn't do a very good job of giving her the hard side of that activity, I guess. But then when it turned, when the tables turned, <clears throat> and it was her turn to listen to me, she did a much better job of not li of listening, but of not affirming, and of not saying anything. And it was really uncomfortable, and I hated it. Um, she was the first person in the room that I came out to that didn't already know, so like not Becky, Rachel, Marie, Trevor, Jarden, Julie, but uh, the first person that is new to me in this process that I came out to and told about my sexual um, orientation and identity and explained some things, like I explained to her what pansexual meant and um, about Aaron and about being transgender and well, for, for Aaron, not for me. I gave her a quick rundown of that because it's really salient in my life still. And it just, she did a great job of not showing me any emotion. And it was really hard because I'm pretty comfortable with coming out to strangers about it now because I do it all the time um, with freshmen and in dialogues and everything. But knowing that <clears throat> this is a person that I'm going to work with really closely for the next three semesters and actually someone that I've really looked up to in class because I just really appreciated her input. Um, it was really hard and I didn't like it. And I wish that we'd had, I told Rachel this, I wish that we had had a little bit of time to process after each of us went and just say like, wow, my actual reaction when you said that was this. Like, I know that I couldn't show that because of the activity, but this is how I wanted to react. And this is these are the questions that I had and these are the affirmations that I would have given. Like, it's so cool that you're that um like your major is biochemical engineering or something. Her major was really difficult. But like I just wish that we'd had that time to make the connection that the activity prevented us from making because then we still would have gotten the point of the activity and the impact of the activity, but we would have been able to fix it, you know? So, I just wish we'd had that chance. And also, I told Rachel I am disappointed that we haven't, that we aren't going to get a chance to see, have everyone share what their salient social identities are because we did that two weeks ago at the end of class and like four people went and I just really would have liked to hear everybody's top three and why or top two or one and why because I think that is a huge indicator of what you're passionate about and what you may want to present on. So... <clears throat> So far, dialogue's been pretty good. You guys know what my salient social identities are. Um, yes, they change, but um, the ones that I'm still pretty much the most passionate about, the most confused about, um, the most involved with are my sexual orientation, um, especially with um, some relationship issues with Aaron that have been going on and with some other people in my life. It's just been a constant struggle. Um, and religion goes hand in hand with that. Big struggle there. 
and you know the more and more people I interact with on this campus that are Christian and um, the more and more LGBT people I meet it just changes all the time so those are two ever developing and ever important and passionate identities of mine and um, more and more so actually my socioeconomic class which is those were the two dialogues that I did no wonder they're important to me uh, is becoming more salient to me as I move on um, into my senior year next year and think about a job and think about the real world and where I'm going after this it just starting to get scary um, so that's another salient identity in my life one thing that I've talked to Rachel about also in one-on-one -on -one is that I'm really excited about learning more about my racial identity and my racial, racial privilege in a room that we've talked about is split between <clears throat> primarily white hom uh, heterosexual males and black heterosexual females so I'm excited to see that dynamic and I'm excited to learn from those two groups and kind of process where they are and what they're going through and how that's going to help me develop my racial identity. So that's one that I'm really passionate about this semester and that I'm looking forward to working on. I don't know if I answered all those questions, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know all the answers to those questions for me. So um, excited about this week, really excited about testimonies. I'm so stoked. I think that will probably replace any disappointment I had in not hearing at each and every person's social identity wheel. So um, really excited for testimonies, excited to hear Rachel and Becky's today. And um, yeah, so this is the end of video log three.